After the news of our friend Drew's passing, we decided to come back to Colorado to get more grounded and regroup. We thought what better way to honor him than to get back to work building the creative studio that we had planned on building together. It's a little bit solid. Yeah, this is sawdust. It's settled out. All right, well, let me get some sawhorses set up actually first, and then I'll come grab all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Put them right where it's important for them to be on the edge. So it is time to continue on with one of my favorite things to do in construction, and that is shiplap. Let's do it! One little thing that I found extremely helpful when hanging shiplap is to find an object that you can use as the spacer in between the boards. So I found my good old Swanson Square was the perfect size to slip in there and to make sure that all the boards are staying the same distance apart. But a little tip, measure from the floor to the top of your board all across the length of the wall to make sure that you're staying perfectly up. I am so excited to see how the studio is coming along. Um, we were originally going to do two walls, pine shiplap, and then the other two we were going to paint white. Um, as just an accent, but I honestly really love how the pine looks. What are your thoughts? Also, the ceiling, I think, we're gonna paint white. And so, I'm excited to see how that turns out. Um, we have to do another run to Canyon City, which is like an hour away, to get the rest of the tongue and groove for the ceiling, and a little bit more shiplap because we were just a little bit short. Very, very excited for this accomplish accomplishment. This week I'm doing a challenge. I am cutting out all sugar. And so, um, it's been, this is day four, and it's been a little bit difficult. I've realized everything has sugar in it. Um, there's 60 different names for sugar. Here's a list, check this out. I've been looking at labels, trying to find what doesn't have any sort of sugar, and it's very, very difficult. And so I've been pretty much just eating vegetables. I wanted to try it out to see if I could stop my cravings for sugar and just to bring more awareness to how many things actually have sugar in them. And it's absolutely insane. Well, she has been pretty much eating fruit all morning. I've been eating fruit uh, the first half of the week, a lot of fruit. Um, to kind of stop the cravings for like the artificial sugars and things. Um, but tomorrow, I'm cutting out fruit as well. So that should be interesting. So here's our cabinet. See, bagels, sugar, any bread, sugar. There's dressing that has sugar. Honey is sugar. Um, we've got some maple syrup, that's sugar. Um, oh, we've got Cliff Bar, sugar. Um, cereal, sugar some protein bars with sugar. So yeah, we have a pretty shameful cabinet up there. I open it to try to find something to eat and I'm like, well, everything has sugar. So um, let me just get back to my Brussels sprouts. So while Mars is working on doing the insulation in the roof on the studio today, I have the kids in our camper. So we bought this 1969 Excel camper back in Joshua Tree for two grand. It was a real mess and we renovated it and now it's a great little space for our kids. We actually are using it as like a homeschool room um, today. So. We have extra space for Everly to work on crafts and Atlas can kind of run around on the ground and play with toys. And so yeah, just having this space, I always forget about how much I love this camper. And so, you know, for less than five grand, we have this amazing little space that feels super cozy and lets the kids have an extra space to play. When I walk over, I, this man says, hi, what, 
What sort of puppy would you like? This one should be named Kiara. There we go. Bye puppies, I'm going to work. So if you watched any of our previous videos recently, um, Mars and I are talking have talked about our life books. So back in 2017, we created a life book with John and Missy Butcher. It's like a vision board, but a vision book. So here's mine. It is super long, but there's 12 chapters. Each one goes over a different area of your life where you create a vision for that area. This year, we're taking those 12 chapters and breaking them into months. So last month, we focused on our health and fitness. This month, we're focusing on our intellectual life. You start with, what are your beliefs around this area? So what I put into my book was that my mind is my greatest asset. And everything in my life is, is something that is an outcome of something that I've thought about in the past. And so just really bringing to my awareness, like what are the things that I'm dwelling on? What are the things that I'm thinking about consistently? Like before we got our van, Lamar and I used to sit there and put our hands on an invisible wheel and just imagine what it would be like, even when we were driving in our car to kind of make it feel more real. Like, but imagining looking back and like seeing the bed and seeing the little kitchen and we would just continually visualize what that would be like and then it, it helped us to have it on the forefront of our mind to kind of see when those open doors came. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna think about it, it's gonna magically appear, but whenever you're thinking about the things that you're wanting in the future, you see those open doors when they become available. Whereas if you're thinking about negative things all the time, it's not like it's magically making negative stuff happen, but you're looking for it. Like you're spanning your horizon, looking for negative things subconsciously. This month, I'm really gonna be focusing on what I'm thinking about, being grateful, getting rid of fear, getting rid of worry, and just um, focusing on the next steps of, of what we're trying to create with our lives, like this creative retreat. Way to go, Mars! Thank you, love. Doing the siding was super fun. Putting in the insulation in the walls was really easy and fun. Um, this, I guess putting up the ceiling insulation was probably the hardest part of it because I had to be on the ladder and work above my head the whole time, but honestly the siding I imagine will be harder, but maybe not. It might be a pleasant surprise for to not be harder, so. I'm like super stoked. I, I, I don't know if I'm showing it enough, but this is the first thing I've ever built from the ground up. I've helped my dad renovate a bunch of things, add on patios, um, you know, I've built garages like with a construction crew and whatnot, but I have never just built a, a building from the ground up, so, which I had my dad and Jeff um, from the Bertucci family, both of their help, which was awesome. Our dream for the last four over four years is to buy a property, narrowed it down to Colorado, bought property in the mountains in Colorado, and build out like a studio space, like an art art studio, and 
We're gonna do a bigger one in the future, but for now there's one for like literally to get up and running and to get going and then we'll build our house. And so we'll have our house, the studio, the camper. Uh, it's nice. Man, today has been a lot of fun. It's also been a little more difficult than it was uh, hanging the ship lap. But yeah, I'm throwing up the panels for the Tiger Group ceiling, which, I mean, we're gonna paint white. And I think it's gonna feel pretty good in here. It's crazy to see all of our plans coming to fruition. This little building will be the home to so many creations. And we can't wait. <laughs>